Welcome to another episode of Shipper War, my review of Total Recall. Shipper War, when ship happens, I'm there. Now this reboot of Total Recall is definitely one of those movies that I was excited to see, but at the same time I was kind of wary about it because I'm so used to the original film and its story, and then when I learned about how this movie wasn't going to be on Mars, but it was going to be on Earth and everything was going to take place on Earth, I thought to myself, how can they do something to make it much more interesting than the original film just being on Earth? And I have to say, after watching the movie, they did manage to do that. They did manage to make the story very interesting and different from the original to the point that I felt like this movie didn't need the recall, total recall title to it. It could have been a standalone film and it would have worked perfectly. I'm not exactly sure why they chose to make this a total recall film when a lot of the premise in this story is very different from the original film and there was similar things here and there but I felt like they just threw that in just for the fans of the original to just enjoy it but overall if wasn't for the whole mind thing Everything else is very much different from the original film. Now, I have to say, I really enjoyed this film for the first half of it. I thought it was pretty amazing because, again, they managed to do something that I wasn't expecting for them to do, and that's to make this story very original in comparison to the original film. They made it different. They managed to make it different from the original film and still keep it on Earth, and I really really admired that about this movie. And the other thing I really enjoyed was the visual effects in this movie were completely amazing. The only other film that I can compare this movie to when it came to a lot of the visual effects is basically the Star Wars movies. But again, as I said, the first half was definitely great. I, if, if it wasn't for the second half, I would definitely, if I had to rate this movie, I would give it five stars just with the first half. And then the major plot of the story was then revealed to us, and I personally just felt like it wasn't very major. I wasn't in awe after this major plot was revealed. I was expecting so much more, because in the original movie, when you find out what's going on and what Arnold's character is trying to do while he's on Mars and when it finally you finally find out what's happening, it's pretty big and epic. In this movie, it's not like that. At least in my opinion, it wasn't really big and epic. I felt like it was very anticlimactic and I was so disappointed. But I kept watching the movie thinking, you know, maybe they're going to do something different and they'll turn it around and they never turned it around. They just kept going on with this plot that I thought was so boring. It wasn't that exciting. I wanted so much more out of this movie because it started off so good and yet it never went there. The other thing I had a problem with was Kate Beckinsale's character. I felt like she was used way too much. It was like a certain point where I felt like, just kill her off already. We get it. We get her character. She's no longer useful. Why she does continue living? Why hasn't she died yet? And that was the continuous annoyance for me in this movie. If she was gone by the first half of the movie and not seen again for the rest of the movie, I basically wouldn't have any major annoyances in this movie, but her character just became really annoying at a certain point that I just thought, why don't you guys just kill her off or send her off somewhere else because she's just becoming way too much, way too overbearing, and her character worked at first, but then after a while it just became way too redundant and just too much that I personally could not handle it anymore and I was just waiting for her to go away. Now as for the romance in the movie which I have to talk about, the romance is basically between Colin Farrell's character and Jessica Beals and they didn't play it up that much but they did it in a way that was tastefully done and I enjoyed it but it wasn't in your face type of deal and it worked. I really liked Jessica Beals' character in this film. I thought she was very enjoyable. I actually kind of felt like she should have been in this movie a lot more than Kate Beckinsale's character because I thought her character was just more of an interesting character and had played more of an important role to the story than Kate's character. I have to say that I definitely recommend this movie to those who are excited to see it. Those who were wary about it, still go see it because the first half, the visual effects, Colin Farrell, 
all those three elements were completely amazing in my opinion. It's just the major plot of the story wasn't as great as I wanted it to be. And some of the characters, Kate Beckinsale's character mainly, was just really annoying at a certain point. And yeah, I don't really have any major complaints outside from the fact that I wanted more from this movie and I thought the story could have been so much better and hence why I am semi disappointed with this movie but outside from that it was a pretty enjoyable film for what it was even as a reboot. So that is all for this episode of Ship of War. Goodbye and until next time and if you haven't already please subscribe.